stop here? Are you going to take questions? You're going to talk very well. Thank you, Thank you Wayne. Wayne. One of the first responsibilities I learned at Homeland Security was the importance of protecting our nation's critical infrastructure. And there's nothing more critical to our nation's well-being than our children's safety. They're this country's future and our most precious resource. We all understand that our children should be safe in school, but it is also essential that the parents understand and have confidence in that safety. As a result of the tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut, that confidence across this nation has been shattered. Assurance of school safety must be restored with a sense of urgency. That is why I am grateful that the National Rifle Association has asked me to lead a team of security experts to assist our schools, parents, and our communities. I took, I took this, this assignment on one condition, condition that, that my team, team of experts will be independent and will be guided solely by what are the best security solutions for the safety of our children while at school. Even, Even though we're, we're just starting this process, I envision this initiative will have two key elements. First of all, it will be based on a model security plan a comprehensive strategy for school security based upon the latest, most up-to-date technical information from the foremost experts in their fields. This model security plan will serve as a template, a set of best practices, principles, and guidelines that every school in America can tweak as needed and tailor to their own set of circumstances. Every school and community is different. But this, but this model security, security plan will allow every school to choose among its various components to develop a school safety strategy that fits their own unique circumstance, whether it's a large urban school or a small rural school such as we have in Arkansas or anything in between. Armed, trained, qualified school security personnel will be one element of that plan, but by no means the only element. If a school decides, for whatever reason, that it doesn't want or need armed security personnel, that, of course, is a decision to be made by the parents and the local school board at the local level. The second point I want to make is that this will be a program that does not depend upon massive funding from local authorities or the federal government. Instead, it will make use of local volunteers serving in their own communities. In my home state of Arkansas, my son was a volunteer with a local group called Watchdog Dads, who volunteer their time at schools to patrol playgrounds and provide a measure of added security. President Clinton initiated a program called Cops in School. But the federal response is not sufficient for today's task. Whether they're retired police, retired military, or rescue personnel, I think there are people in every community in this country who would be happy to serve if only someone asked them and gave them the training and certifications to do so. The National Rifle Association is the natural obvious choice to sponsor this program. Their gun safety, marksmanship, and hunter education programs have set the standard for well over a century. Over the past 25 years, their Eddie Eagle Gun Safe program has taught over 26 million kids that real guns aren't toys. And today, child gun accidents are at the lowest levels ever recorded. School safety is a complex issue with no simple, single solution. But I believe trained, qualified, armed security is one key component among many that can provide the first line of difference as well as the last line of defense. Again, I welcome the opportunity to serve this vital, potentially life-saving effort. Thank you very much. Asia, thank you. As I indicated, as I indicated at the outset, this is the beginning of a serious conversation. We won't be taking questions today but uh, uh, Andrew and Arulanundrum, our uh, public affairs officer, is here. 
We will be willing to talk to anybody beginning on Monday. Uh, a text of the speech by Wayne and uh, Asa, Asa Hutchinson's, Hutchinson's remarks are available at nra.org. I want to thank all of you for being with us, and I look forward to talking to you and answering any of your questions next week. Thank you very much. NRA President uh, David Keene leaving the podium there at the uh, Willard Hotel in Washington, D.C. Again, you heard uh, former Congressman Asa Hutchinson, uh, Wayne LaPierre, talking about the uh, NRA National School Shield Program. Uh, that, uh, that has been set, set up. up. Basically, the uh, NRA, NRA leadership uh, sounds, sounds like Wayne LaPierre, Lapierre or Chris Cox, uh, uh, David Keene, and others uh, uh, saying we want to have a program developed. We want to, uh, much like with the Eddie Eagle program, bring in outside experts uh, who can best determine what this program will look like, and, and the uh, NRA will uh, provide the funding for that program. program. Now, now, we are, are going to have, have a lot more for you throughout, you throughout the afternoon and evening here on nranews.com, uh, beginning, beginning with the daily, daily news with my colleague Jenny Simone. Simone. Be sure to tune in for Cam and Company tonight as well. And we will bring you the very latest uh, developments on this story. Thank, Thank you again, again for tuning in to this uh, special coverage of an NRA press event in Washington, D.C. From all of us here at nranews.com, I'm Cam Edwards.